Looks like I'm blocked. Played this one, so I normally like to just uh, close my corner. Doesn't really change too much. You can also play in the other corners. I just like this one. And we'll play another 3 4. 4 4 would also be good, but I prefer this one. And we'll just take the corner. It's nice and simple. Even if he plays here, like this area is not that solid. It can still be invaded, it can be reduced. He's trying to play something over here to grow this area, but it feels a little bit too small to just try and play something over here. So I kind of want to approach here. You can also approach here, but when he pincers, he's kind of naturally making this bigger. So I kind of want him to try and back off here in some way, and then it feels like he eventually has to add another move here. And then I feel like he gets a little bit over-concentrated. So I can attach in the corner, I can slide, I can jump. Not sure which I like best. Hmm. What do they attach? It's pretty simple. He can get a push here and try to start building this area. But I don't think it's really that big. And I can always kind of just jump in and reduce it. And now this group is very, very safe. I can haunt A here. He can cut, but I don't think it's that big of a deal because I can always capture in the corner. And if he does cut, I go here, here. It feels like eventually I can either make this area more solid or I can extend here to reduce this one. Um, but he didn't do that one, so he's giving me more on the side, and he's getting more potential here. But not too worried about it, because I do have this corner, I have potential here, this corner. And he played this one, which is kind of limiting what he can get here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and approach this corner to try and grow my own area. Because it'll take several moves for him to like completely turn this into his area. And this move just feels a bit jealous. Um, this area is not that big. I feel like him just playing here is probably going to get more. Uh, so I'm just going to turn here so I can reduce this. And not really care about the corner here. Just turn here. He has to jump. And this is now a weak group. Hmm. I can Hane here. But not sure if it's good. I also want to like approach here to try and give this a base and put some pressure on it so he's forced to run out, which will let me capture this naturally. Not sure. We'll just go ahead and do this one. He attaches. Wahane. And I'll extend up. Again, I don't want to let him completely seal off the center. I'm a little bit over-concentrated, but that's okay, because this group still is not 100% alive. So eventually he's going to have to add some moves here to try and live. Hmm. So I can Hane here, here. And I can capture two stones, but I think he lives. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do here. I do want to play something here so I can capture this stone while putting pressure on this group. We'll try this one. So even if he extends here, I can I could probably push first, but I can also just connect. And if I get to push here, I can kind of Atari everything. He Tanukis seems a bit unusual. So I can just play here Atari and cut this whole thing off. And I think I will do that since he didn't defend it. He could extend here, I capture, but then he has to play here to get two eyes. Um, but this one, 
I guess he can go for a co or something, but I'll go ahead and play here. If he goes here, I can play this for free. Because he has to play here to make sure he stays alive. And then I can just surround and capture these. So now this stone feels like it's pretty much captured. Because if he runs out, I can kind of just surround now. Okay, don't want to let him get out too easily. He probably should play here and then jump here, trying to turn the center into uh, points. Because this, I'm not sure what he's going to get. See so yeah, how he can do this, Atari. Um, but I'm just going to keep extending, reducing his potential here. And I don't really care if he connects to this stone, because I'm reducing this. And all my groups should be alive. Especially if I get to turn here, I can pretty much reduce even more. And he kind of has to respond, because if I cut this off, it's probably dead. It's a bit weird he's trying to uh, now switch to this side. Because he does have to try and connect somehow, and then I can keep reducing because he has all of these weak points. Yep, just peep. And yeah, we'll go ahead and jump, reduce some more. And he doesn't really have a good move to defend it. Yeah, so he just tanukis. Uh, I'll go ahead and send, because I'm threatening to go into the corner. And a move around here is also starting to get big, yeah. But a little bit too late, I think. Because I can still invade here. I can invade here, and now there's a chance this can get weak, because I have a pretty nice wall here. So I'll go ahead and play here. I want to reduce this as much as possible. Leaves behind some fetting points. I don't think he really has a good move. If he goes here, obviously I just capture. If he extends, I can push and cut. And I should be able to tar here and capture him before he captures me. So he should probably Atari here or defend somehow, and then I probably have to play in the corner to try and live. But then this is cut off. And then even if he plays here, I go here to capture. I should be able to get out. And then there's still Aji in the corner that I can use to get rid of his eyes. He extends. Hmm. I'll extend. Give him a chance to defend. But I don't want to just uh, let him connect too easily. I'm not sure what he can do. Like If he goes here, I can attach. And then there's some weakness here. But I probably have to play in the corner first to extend my liberties or connect. And then being able to turn here, like throwing in, it's easy to reduce his liberties pretty quickly. And it's also the same. I can still Atari here and extend and probably capture either this or this. But for now, I'm just going to try and extend the liberties of this group. And no matter which way he pushes me, he's hurting either this group or this group. And this is a weird one, because now if he blocks my connection, I can just turn here, and I'm alive in the corner. Hmm. 
if I go here, Atari, capture, he can try and squeeze, but it's I think it's a co to uh, capture this. Or I just get out. And a co is better than nothing, so go ahead and do that. Yeah, so he can squeeze and connect an Atari. I guess I can still kind of connect, so maybe it's not even a co. But capturing this is not small. But I think he's not sure what to do here. Like I said, I think just squeezing is probably the best because he can make this more solid. But I'm not sure if this is enough territory. And then I can still peep here, or even threaten to cut here, then jump. And I can reduce this even more. And then capturing this zone is also becoming quite big. It's like he does go for the squeeze. And I think I'll do the co, because I think I can connect here. But then he can Atari, 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 and do stuff like that. But I think I'd rather try and win the co first. And I do have quite a bit of co threats. Like I can play here, I can peep here. I can play something over here threatening to after this. This doesn't really count as a co-threat, I don't think. And it looks like he's just trying to grow this area and grow this area. Not sure if I should just capture, though. So I do have co-threats, but the moves I want to play next to reduce are those co-threats. Hmm. Yeah, not sure. We'll just go ahead and play. Keep everything connected. Not sure what he's doing, because I can't cut here now. And he doesn't exactly have two eyes. And now he has to be careful about me cutting these off. So this definitely feels a bit aggressive. So he's thinking he can cut here, and then I can't really push through because he captures two stones. So I'll just go ahead and defend my cutting point. But the thing is, if I cut here, I'm also threatening to play moves like this next, which is attacking this whole thing as well. I'll play here, threatening the cut while getting rid of eyes. Although, maybe he just plays here and can live. Okay. But nope. So I'll just go ahead and defend my cutting point. And now if he plays here, I probably just block here. Hmm. Maybe I should cut right away, because it should be Sente. Because he has to come back and defend his cutting point here. Lots of things I can do. So I'm not quite sure what he's going to do to get out of this. So I don't think he can live everywhere now. But I think I'm already ahead with just this. Yeah, Scorsmater, even though it's counting wrong, says I'm winning by about 26 points, even though he gets all of this, which I can still reduce this by quite a bit. So 
even if he lost this, which I guess since he played that, he does lose it. Mm, but I can also just cut right away. And if he tries to block, I can cut. And if he goes down, I can keep here and connect. I think the whole thing should die, unless I'm misreading. I don't think he can really do anything here, because if he goes here, I connect, he pushes and cuts, so it's a snapback. So I don't think there's any way for him to uh, cut this off. And I can go here, if he pushes, I cut. He goes here, I capture. You can also peep here first. If he blocks, I can push. If I do this one here, he goes here. Hmm. I'm not sure which way is best. We'll just push and cut. So even if he captures here, I just cut and go here. This whole thing dies. So it feels like he has to try and make an eye with something like this. Then I Atari, and then maybe he can do a ko. But it's a really big ko, so I don't think I would. Uh, I could lose it. So he does this one because I guess he wants to play here. And if I go here, he can go down. And I think he gets an eye here. Um, if I block that and he captures, I can squeeze, but I can't get rid of both eyes. Okay, so maybe he does live. Um, let me see. Anything else I can do? Yeah, sure, it's fine. We'll just connect here. He can try and live. So I could also try this one. I go here, here, here. He captures here, here, here. I don't know. I suck at reading. It feels like the vital point, because if I play the connection and he goes down, he makes the eye. So normally their vital point is the same for you. So yeah, if he makes an eye here, I capture it, it becomes false. If he captures, I go here. If he goes here, I go here, making it false, so he has to block. And then I can play here, getting rid of this eye. Okay, and it looks like I win by time. But I'm pretty sure this is dead. And I think even if it lived after this, I think I'm at least a few points ahead. But hopefully uh, that was interesting. And uh, I'd like to thank all my uh, patrons. I really appreciate the support. And I will see you all next time.